Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I have prepared two very easy multiple choice questions for you. I hope everyone would be able to choose correct answers. And here is the first question. If you wanted to determine the phenotype of organism, what procedure would you follow? Answer A. DNA sequence of the parents. And this is not the best way to determine phenotype of the progeny. And answer B. DNA fingerprint of the organism. Just like normal fingerprints that represent very small uh, surface of our bodies and would tell uh, one person from another. Everyone has unique fingerprints. DNA fingerprint also uh, refers to very small DNA uh, fragments. If we compare with the total DNA of each cell uh, by analyzing those small fragments, we also can uh, tell um, one person from another because every person would have unique DNA fingerprint that wouldn't um, repeat in any other person. Except, of course, uh, such cases when we have two identical twins. So we can cross out answer B. And answer C, look at the physical characteristics of the organism. And answer D, do a dehybrid cross. So which answer to choose? Um, dehybrid cross is... Uh, Example would be when we have two genes that is in heterozygous state. For example, gene A that is capital A small a and gene B that is capital B and small b. We cross with another organism that has the same genetic makeup or also would be heterozygous for both these genes, gene A and gene B. So such cross we call uh, the hybrid cross and this wouldn't uh, help us to determine physical characteristics or how organism looks so the uh, as you see uh, the correct answer would be answer C phenotype is uh, just appearance how um, organism appear to our vision and this we call um, phenotype and genotype would be a DNA sequence of the organism. Not necessary that we refer genotype to the whole sequence of the organism. Sometimes we can refer just to one or two genes. For example, this is going to be genotype of one organism. And the other genotype of the other organism can be the same or different. Uh, so we also call this genotype. So next question, if a disease is uh, said to be sex link, what pair of chromosomes must uh, contain the gene responsible for the disease? And here is um, uh, five answers to choose from. And as you know, uh, humans have uh, 46 chromosomes uh, that is arranged in 23 pairs. In karyotype, chromosomes are arranged according to the size and position of the centromere, so uh, 23rd pair would be a pair of sex chromosomes. In females, this is going to be uh, XX chromosomes, and in males, this is going to be X and Y chromosomes. Uh, actually, X chromosome is much bigger than Y chromosome, so to X chromosomes would look like this and X and Y chromosome would look like this. But uh, these two chromosomes has uh, homologous uh, fragments and can uh, line up during mitosis or meiosis. Those, uh, these two chromosomes are very different in size and the composition, for example, X chromosome contain more than uh, 2000 genes and uh, Y chromosome under 200 genes. But once again, because these two uh, chromosomes has homologous um, fragments, these two chromosomes may line up uh, during meiosis and mitosis. And uh, as you see, the correct answer would be answer 
C. Um, if this is said to be sex link, we know that uh, this disease uh, caused by um, any of the mutations that we can find on the uh, where the X chromosome or Y chromosome that is 23rd pair of chromosomes in our career type. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.